Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some well, fun. Well, Nick Collier here, and uh, I sent out a message just a little while ago uh, asking for help, and I got about six or eight people who were more than willing to help me, and some of them actually own this particular lathe. So uh, what I'm going to do, and I figured it out. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the process of doing metric threads on this lathe, just in case you haven't figured that one out. Now, you know, I've had this lathe 10 years, and I've had other lathes too that would go metric, but I was always, I don't know, intimidated by changing the gears. Hey, it was a simple process. It was so easy, I couldn't believe it. Two, two clips and pull the old gears off, put the new gears on, done. Uh, maybe three minutes. So uh, and now I have this whole new ability on this old lathe to, uh, to cut metric threads. So uh, we're going to walk you through the process of how to do this. Uh, and uh, let's come in close and I'm going to show okay, you. Okay, well it's pretty simple. Uh, unfortunately all of my manuals are in Russian or um, some other language and I'm not sure of. But I figured this and this one out. So if we come in and we look at this part of the thing, and I'm going to give you a picture so you can look at it more carefully. You'll see that there's four gears. And uh, the standard um, American standard thread has three gears. So then uh, if you, you notice, notice. Um, you'll see that there's four gears here. And the American Standard only has three gears, but it's it's all set up to slide the second set of gears in there and readapt to this. I mean, as I said, it took three minutes to do it. So if you look, it says A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. And if you look up on top here, someplace in there, there's the number one. That means, and we'll get to that part later, that means that the uh, the thread uh, drive gear is in number one position. Well, well, let's just go over to that right now. And if we come down to the thread drive gear, it's or the it's actually number two. Wait a second, where's number one? Hmm. Oh, right, number two. The thread drive gear is in number one position. Okay. All right, so now we've come up to here again. And uh, how many threads do we want per inch? I was working on a 12 millimeters, 175, which is right there. So basically, we go with the um, number one in number one position. And 175 is... Number three is A, B, and C. Uh, I don't know. Okay, here's what I think we're supposed to do. This is about the fifth time I've come at this. Number one, and it shows number one all the way across the board here. So I'm assuming that number one on this dial here, and you pull this out and you shift it to one, is a one is direct drive there's no gears being used in the transmission so then uh, you come over to number three and you set that on C which is a certain kind of travel and then your final setup is the gears uh, A B C and D and they go they correspond with and we're going to 175 which is what I wanted before where'd it go well I know it's here one seven five okay there's one seven five so it says put number three in the C position Number one bypasses the entire transmission. So number one and number C 
and then everything else gets done with gears. So we're at 175, which is here, and we just travel up and we go, the gear ratio is 127, 70, 40, and 80. Now, if you were going for, let's say, a 6.5 uh, um, thread, you would go, you would take it to A position, which would be over here, A position, right? And I'm going to take it back to C because I want to stay there. And A position, right? And then and where's 6.5 6 and then your gear combination is 127 looks like 65 40 and 80 and so um, the corresponding and the, the difference in the, this gear here uh, the, this thread here 6.5 or 3.25 or 1.625 is all connected to what speed your your drive is your number three drive so I think that's just totally simple once I figure it out so now let's go over to the uh, to the gear gears themselves and and I wrote down the the this and just to kind of remember what American standard is, I think that's a good idea. This here is I wrote before I figured out that everything shifts with each thread. So here's our gears. And this is the four gear setup. You can kind of see the interior gear there. And it's the 127, 70, 40 80 something like that now the cool part is is all you have to do is uh, Unscrew that a, about a half a turn this little keeper pops out this whole gear just kind of slides right off and then you pop this Little keeper here and it just comes straight out and all this comes out and then uh, Undo that one bolt and you're done Put it all back in and of course there's there's your adjustments there that brings the gears in so that they mesh with each other. Okay, well, uh, I think that's just about the coolest thing going. Um, and as I said, I've been 10 years without using my metric threads. I, just because I, you know, was a little intimidated with the whole setup. But, uh, you know, as, as usual, some engineer figured, figured this out in the 50s. And back in the 50s, the engineers kind of knew what they were doing. I mean, not that the engineers don't know what they're doing here nowadays, but uh, most engineers have never run a lathe. They've never been in a tool shop. All they know is computers and numbers, and uh, which drives me crazy. So anyhow, this is Nick Collier. We're having fun with my Moss lathe, and uh, we've uh, got ourselves a new tool to... Uh, to fiddle with. Nick Collier, checking out.